if we want to determine the sign convention of normal stress, we have to first observe whether the normal stress produces tension or compression. If the normal stress produces tension, then the sign will be positive. But if the stress produces compression, the sign will be negative. Now let us talk about the sign convention of shear stress. Here we can see that the shear stress on the right phase of the stressed element acts along positive y-axis. So the sign will be positive. At the same time, we can certainly say that positive pair of shear stress creates anti-clockwise moment. On the other hand, negative shear stress causes clockwise moment. Now let's introduce an important concept about the stress condition of an inclined plane. After drawing more circle, if we want to determine the stress condition that means normal and shear stress of a given inclined plane, we have to just draw a line parallel to that given plane. At control point A, the stresses of the vertically opposite point S are the stresses of that incline given plane AB. On the other hand, if we want to determine the plane whose stresses are given, we have to just point out the point S for those stresses on more circle. Then move vertically opposite and get the point B on more circle. Then add a line from B to A. Here the drawn plane AB is the plane for those given stresses. In this problem, the normal stress on the right face is tensile. So sigma x is plus 3 megapascal. Similarly as the normal stress on the upper face is tensile. So sigma y is plus 1 megapascal. As the shear stress on the right face acts along plus y axis. So tau xy is plus 2 megapascal. Before we draw the more circle. First we have to determine the x and y coordinates of the center point C. Using the formula given here, the x coordinate of C is found 2 and y coordinate is 0. Most importantly, the control point A represents the stress condition of the right phase of stressed element. The coordinates of A are 3. 2. By applying formula, we determine the radius of Mohr circle, and we get the radius 2.24.